One, two, three. Jackets! Talked about the young guys contributing on the, on the mound for you today and you know, gutting it out nearly two complete games by your freshman pitch. And talk about how that was beneficial for your squad. Well, I mean, when, we, uh, when you're short staff, you don't have the numbers that you want on the pitching staff. Uh, it's good to get a lot of innings uh, from anybody, but much less a freshman, go in there and compete and, and uh, do, what they, uh, do what they did and just essentially throw strikes. I think uh, Will had one hit batter, no, uh, no walks, and uh, I'm not sure if Harlan had a walk at all, but uh, uh, 16 innings with no walks, however many strikeouts they had, that's, that's pretty good for, for any pitcher, much less a freshman. Obviously, not one standout offensively, but just a lot of collection of different hits from different contributors. Talk about the offensive contributions, one through nine. Well, we, we've been discussing quality at-bats a lot, and uh, uh, last night in particular with 23 quality at-bats throughout the game, it was one through nine. It was everybody that contributed. And, and like you said, it has been a, a team effort. We, we talked about last night that it is going to take a whole team uh, to win these games and to, to take the series. And, Talk about how it's important just you know to win series to advance and have a, a chance at the conference tournament. Talk about what the Yellow Jackets have ahead of them. Well, we've got uh, obviously a good test next weekend. We've got East Texas Baptist that we're going to go and play away. Again, our goal is to win series, and uh, we'll do the best we can. We'll think about who we're going to start on Friday and get a lineup together, and then go. Uh, uh, that's that's all I can really tell you from this standpoint. I think we've got them and then Howard Payne. I haven't really looked much uh, much further ahead. Appreciate your time.